Did you click on this video because you are just right in the middle of the Christmas chaos and wanted to know how to make it stop? Probably so. So that's what this video is all about. How to turn all of the hectic chaos craziness that Christmas comes with sometimes and make it a little bit more peaceful in your house, especially when it comes to all of the toys. I'm gonna give you some quick tips that you can implement right away to help it just kind of calm down just a little bit. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. It is done, Christmas. Did you make it through? I hope so. But now here we are after all the chaos is kind of starting to dwindle down with a little bit of overwhelm, which is why I wanted to make this video to give you some ideas on how to kind of ease on back into reality of non-holiday life and to kind of take control over all of the chaos and maybe all of the toy clutter because it happens. And I get you. If you're new here, I would love it if you were subscribed to the Purple Alphabet family. We do educational activities for kids and lots of ideas and inspirations to learn through play, hauls, giveaways, and sometimes little parenting advice videos like this one. Leave me a comment down below telling me what you're up to. And if you're new, I would love to hear from you too. Getting on to those tips on how to reduce the holiday chaos. The first step should have been done prior to the holidays. And you might have already done this and nobody listened to you. And that is to ask for less. And that means asking for less from family, from your parents, from your in-laws, if you have in-laws, to your neighbors, to anyone asking for less. But of course, they wanna give your child a present because they wanna show they care. So that's where you would come back with some great response of what they could get. Maybe it's a piano lesson, maybe it's a ticket to the movie theaters, you know, those experience gifts. Or maybe they donate something to a charity on behalf of your child. This is not only a great lesson for your family and trying to eliminate the excess, but it's a perfect lesson for your kids and understanding that giving is always a great opportunity to share some love. Now I realize you might not have done that way back in the beginning when the holiday started, I get it. If not, keep it in mind for next year and use this experience of having kind of a little bit of chaos in your life as an example of how to do it next time. I know I always forget to do this, so maybe you can help remind me when the year comes around. Tip number two is to put some toys away. I have been doing this for a couple of years now. I think last year I even suggested it in a video and I'm a big believer of this, even for birthdays or other special occasions where you kind of get a lot of stuff. It can be very overwhelming for a child, especially if they have sensory processing disorders or they don't exactly know what to do. If you get a lot, what I would recommend is taking a portion of that and putting away. I personally like to put my things in the laundry room, that's kind of just my safe haven, and then we pull them back out at a later date. So they're not going away. I still see them because they're in the laundry room so I don't forget about them as if I packed them in the garage in a box or something. And I can take them out when, you know, you have those moments or I'm bored, I don't know what to do, or you need something just kind of like pop some interest in their lives and you can pull it out at that time. Sometimes I've gone all through the summer up until the next Christmas and I still have one or two things sitting there. So if you kind of divide them out, you can do this with your child if you want and take some of those toys and just put them away for later. It's gonna really eliminate a little bit of the overwhelm your child's gonna be much more focused on the toys that they have and then they can always pull one out at a later date especially during the summer that's a prime opportunity that way I'm not buying toys throughout the whole entire year and I always have a back stock of options that they can pick from so the key to this is to not forget about it so make sure to put it in a place where you'll see and you'll remember the other key is to periodically make sure you bring things out so you're not left with a surplus of it at the next Christmas kind of like me and to make sure that your child knows that those toys aren't going away, that they are there later and we can pull them out for a rainy day. Tip number three, if you find yourself just kind of in an excess of toys that you don't need and you truly feel that these are things that you don't need and you don't need to have, then I would recommend donating, yes, donating. Think about the people that you can donate to. There are a lot of organizations that collect toys throughout the year, although the holidays might be their biggest push for them, but they're needed throughout the year. I know for San Diego, our local children's hospital is always accepting donations throughout the year, and we've been down to that hospital and actually been given toys while the children are there, and it's been just kind of a lifesaver. There's women's shelters, there's libraries that could use some of these resources, your community, community centers, preschools or other schools might want to take on those donations. Take a look around, 
call your church, call your local organization and see if somebody wants these excess toys that you have. And this is also a great teachable moment for you and your child to talk about why you're doing this. This tip is probably one that you're already doing and you probably did it a few weeks ago and that is to declutter. So if you didn't already declutter before the holidays, definitely do it now. But if you did declutter before the holidays, do it again. I'm serious, do it again. You might go back and be surprised now that you have these bright, shiny new toys, how much your child is willing to give away some more things. So we do declutter a big purge kind of around October-ish, and then I do a smaller purge right around Thanksgiving, and then after Christmas, another purge because some of the toys might not seem as age appropriate now that they have something else that is age appropriate. So take a look around, do a declutter, make room for the new things, and you're gonna feel so much better and so so is your child and this is a great opportunity because they already know they have something to take the place on the shelf and they're probably not going to be as hesitant to get rid of that older item that they no longer play with so declutter again i can't tell you enough declutter 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 this one might be a little controversial but that's okay this one is to take your items and return them yeah I said it. I've actually been known to do this when we just had so much, so I took it all back. These were gifts from family members that we just did not need for whatever reasons, or maybe even duplicates that I was gonna return anyway. Taking it back to the store, receiving the store credit for something else later down the road, for a birthday present, or for some kind of, um, I don't know, event or treat or some clothes, or even taking that and getting your money returned back and putting that towards a savings account. So sometimes you just get too much and just returning it to get it out of your house can be a lifesaver. Yes, I understand this might be given to your child as a kind gesture, but sometimes it's just too much stuff. So returning it back to the store, getting a store credit or getting some cash back is gonna help you in the long run. One, alleviate the stress and chaos in your home, declutter, and then also give you an opportunity to use that money or that store credit for a later opportunity on something that is more needed. There have been a lot of times when we get so much at this time that I will have gotten a store credit and then two months later I need um, soccer shoes or, or some kind of special shirt for a school event. And if I have that store credit on hand, I can just use that and that's basically the new present. But I didn't know I needed that until later. So returning now is gonna save you that heartache later. You're gonna have a little extra cash in your pocket or in store credit that you can use for something that you truly do need that you didn't know you needed today. Those are my tips for kind of eliminating the chaos, the clutter right after the holidays and easing back into that normal life. Do one, do all of them, do a couple of them and let me know your favorite one down below in the comments. And of course, if you have a suggestion, I'd love to hear it too. Easing out of the holidays, stress-free and clutter-free and taking down the excess a notch is just gonna make you feel much better as your children too. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.